Hello everybody. So the other day I went to a farmer's market here in New York City, uh, the Union Square uh, Green Market. Very fun place. A lot of different stalls, all sorts of stuff. And if you do some digging in there, you, there's not like a whole lot of like weird species of things usually. It's not anything too crazy, but you'll find like very odd uh, varieties of fruit. There was one vendor who was selling like heirloom tomatoes, and this one stood out to me because this one actually has a, a weird skin to it. It's called a peach tomato. And the peach tomato is, um, maybe they get bigger than this, but the ones that they had were all about this size, some of them a little bit smaller, some actually down to like grape tomato kind of size. And what's cool about these is that they have a peach fuzz on the outside. I've never seen that before. I don't even think I've seen that in a relative of tomatoes, like another Solanum species. They're always like super smooth and glossy on the outside. I switched the angle to show you my cat. She's, uh, she's joined me. Do you like it? Give it a snip. She is curious about it. So this does have a unique flavor to it. It doesn't taste like your standard supermarket tomato or anything. And it doesn't taste like just like any heirloom tomato. I lost my cat. Oh. Some heirloom tomatoes taste like pure sugar. Some of them taste very, very savory. This one is definitely a savory one. Uh, the texture on the outside is not really noticeable once you take a bite out of it. Actually, the woman who sold this to me at the farmer's market said, like, oh, it has, like, a peachy texture. Uh, I think she just meant the outside of it. Like, the skin of it does have that peach fuzz, but the inside is, like, your regular tomato. It's a bit more juicy than your regular supermarket tomato, but so are almost any, like, heirloom tomato. The uh, sweetness on it is very low. I kind of expected it to be a little bit higher just because of that name, that maybe it would have, like, a peachy kind of flavor to it. It doesn't. It tastes like a tomato. The, the sweetness is actually less. I would say like a regular tomato is like 2 out of 10 or a 3 out of 10 when you get one from a supermarket. This one is like a 1. There's a little bit of sweetness there, but you're getting more of like a, like a hearty, savory flavor. There's maybe a little bit of like an oniony flavor in there. But it's not anything too weird as far as the, the taste goes. One thing about this that does separate it from other tomatoes is that flavor that's in there is very powerful. It tastes like I just ate like a big tomato, even though that, that thing is just very small. One little bite and you get like a concentrated tomato taste. It tastes a little bit like if you took like a spoon of tomato paste and put it in your mouth. It's very, very strong, very, very savory. Um, I don't have enough of these to do a Will It Ketchup episode, but my guess would actually pr be pretty good for that, just because it would kind of marry pretty well with like onions and stuff like that. It's a strong taste. So if you were to make a ketchup out of this, or if you were to make um, a tomato sauce out of this, it would bring a lot of flavor to what you're, you're using it on. Um, even if you were to use this fresh, like slice it up and put it in um, like a salad or something, it's gonna have a lot of punch to it. There's a lot of really, really good tomatoes out there, so I highly recommend uh, going to a farmer's market or growing your own variety to get something that is going to have uh, such a nice taste to it. Because the ones you get at the supermarket are total garbage when you compare it to something like this. So I'm um, happy to get a chance to try it, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Alt Pot, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. I'm sure you've heard about Patreon.com, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the trips that I go on and how I get all the fruit that I review. That is all from funding from viewers like you. So if you enjoy what you're seeing here and you want to help me out, uh, please check out the link in the description below and uh, there you can find out more. Thanks so much guys. Bye-bye.